Hey there, thanks for tuning in to Duck Bricks. I'm Chris, and today I'm bringing you a very special review of one of the exclusive sets from the BrickLink AFOLD Designer Program. In case you don't know, this was a program that was launched back in 2021, which essentially was dedicated to resurrecting rejected LEGO Ideas concepts and making them official LEGO sets via a crowdfunding platform on BrickLink. Now, previously, we've taken a look at some of the massive heavy hitters of the series, like the Castle in the Forest, but today we're going to be taking a look at something a little bit smaller. Our review today is on the working Sheriff's Safe. This brick built safe features a fully working combination lock, which is really, really cool and exciting. Never really been done anywhere in Lego brick form, and I cannot wait to bring this to all of you. And so without further ado, let's just jump right into the review. All right, so here we have the Sheriff Safe. So this is going to be a bit of a shorter review because of course it is a smaller model, but I do absolutely want to give it its due because it is a very technically impressive model. So on the outset, honestly, it's not that interesting of a build. You'll see it's literally just a large gray box. You have some Western detailing on the sides, but for the most part, you're basically building a gray cube. Now this all changes when you get to the inside, but let's first take a look at what sorts of things are included on the outside. You have a very nicely brick built skull here, which is honestly fairly simple, but I do like the usage of the cup elements as the eyes there. I think that works out very well. And you also have some cobweb detailing on the back, really super simple stuff, and a wanted poster that's basically just a big sticker showcasing a certain character who is wanted. Now on the top here, you have a brick-built alcohol bottle, which is pretty interesting because LEGO typically does not depict alcohol in LEGO sets. Previously, the original submission also had a revolver, which I guess LEGO chose to not include for this design, but I'm honestly surprised they actually included the bottle, although maybe you could just pretend there's juice in there. I also really like the build for the melting candle here. It's a very clever build utilizing the Harry Potter wand and some dripping wax. It's just really cool to see that in general. Flipping it open, you'll actually notice that there's actually pieces to change your combination. So they actually included stickers and extra pieces to be able to put any sort of combination here. Of course, the one built in is 42. And again, this is the working Sheriff safe. So the combination lock actually works. I've left it unlocked for now so you can see the inside first. You notice that it's locked. You simply twist this knob right here and it opens up as long as you had the code in right. Now this is hiding a pretty interesting mechanism that is honestly one of the most interesting Technic designs I've ever built. I didn't really know exactly what I was building until everything came together and it was really impressive. One thing I do want to note immediately at the start of this review that is very, very unfortunate is that there's actually an error in the building instructions. Lego actually changed by accident the pieces used to build the combination lock, making it impossible to be unlocked. So once you built it in the official configuration, you would not be able to lock it. It's very, very annoying that they changed that. The person who designed this, I can imagine, was incredibly annoyed that they actually made that mistake because then there's a lot of people who have purchased this set that simply maybe did not realize online that the instructions were wrong and then forever will think that the set does not work. But the designer of the set did release a picture showing the pieces needed to actually fix the model. They actually are very, very common pieces. You're supposed to use this style of Technic attachment with a stud on it instead of the other style that they used, which actually goes all the way through to here. I don't know how LEGO messed that up, but somehow it got messed up. They did not test it physically during the production, which is how that actually got shipped out. So very unfortunate how that happened, but it's very easy to fix as well. And I've included a link in the description below in terms of the image on how to fix it. So on the inside here, you have a very simple interior, but you have some fun detailing inside. For example, you have a ham piece, a cheese piece, some very well-built dynamite, as well as a cube of gold or a gold nugget, which is really cool to see, and a little spider hiding on the side of the wall as well. Overall, it's a very charming interior with a lot of very interesting little builds here. But of course, the reason why you're all here is the working combination lock. So how does it work? Well, essentially, as you can see here, you have the different numbers on the front here. Let's kind of just turn this all the way this way, turn it every which way, just kind of get this out of lock, out of sync here. So yeah, now it's, it's fully locked. So there you have it. And each of the numbers aligns with the dot here. Now, specifically, the code that's been physically built in is 42. However, it is very simple to just change the code depending on how you actually lay out the interior and how you build it. And we'll be going through that later on. So first of all, what you want to do is 
Notice that you cannot twist this knob. It is fully locked, as you can see right here. You cannot open it up whatsoever. So what you wanna do is turn it all the way to the side. And first you're going to set it at four, and then you're going to twist it all the way to two, and then it opens up. Now that is really cool. So the question is, how does it work? So I'm just gonna mess it up, or let's leave it locked. I'm just going to mess it up a little bit here, twist it all around, twist it this way, twist it that way, so you can see exactly how this works. So first of all, just like an actual real combination lock, let's just zoom in exactly on the function here. There's two different sets of barrels that rotate. So you have one initial set right here, as you can see that I'm turning here, and you have the back set, which is this particular one here. So the way you actually need to unlock it is by allowing both of these to have this red piece being slid down. So as you can see, normally the red piece is pushed upwards. You have to have it go downwards like so, so you can slide this open. Very simple, right? Well, let's see how exactly that works. Pretend this is locked, and now we've messed up both of the combination arrows, so now it's kind of like this, and there's no really easy way to do it. What you want to do to unlock it then is to first turn the knob all the way clockwise, which allows you to kind of reset the way or alignment that this is set up, like so. Let the knob settle on the 4 button, which as you can see here has been left open for this particular gap, and then just simply rotate it back to the 2, which as I rotate this allows me to rotate it all the way back down to here. Now it's down, and there you go, it can be unlocked. So if you want to actually change the code on the thing, it's very, very simple. They actually provide instructions on how to change the code. You literally just have to change around the placement of the knobs here. As you can see here, you just count one, two, three, four, blank, so aka four. And then on this one, you just count one, two, blank, so 42. It's again, very simple to change the numbering should you want to make the code say 11. Then you would simply just move around this red knob piece such that the one corresponds to that ring. So let's put it at one if I wanted to switch it to 11. One corresponds to the outer ring here. So you essentially just have to make this particular slot open. So put this down to the bottom. And if you want to do one again, then you move it like this. And then you can just simply move this red piece down to the other side as well. So super simple to actually change the combination here. It's a very, very cool design. I'm a big fan of the way that this was all put together because it's just a very technically impressive thing. And personally, I did not know how combination locks work before. So I'm happy that I do now. And it's really cool that I was able to learn that via a Lego set. There you go, the lock fully works, and that's really all there is to it to this model. It's not a very complex model at all, it's just featuring a really cool function that is not something that we've seen in any official LEGO set before. Now before we wrap up the review here, I do want to note the pricing for this particular build. The set retailed for 50 US dollars, that is five zero dollars. However, if you want to buy it now, be prepared to shell out around $130 just due to how limited the set is. So $50 for this, I'm gonna be completely honest, is pushing it a little bit for me. Whereas the previous set of the Castle in the Forest that we did review previously was pretty fairly priced at 180, 50 definitely feels like they're pushing it to an extent here. I would have been very, very happy with 40, especially because if I'm being honest, you're really just paying for a box. Sure, you can keep other cool stuff in there. Maybe I'll throw some rare Lego pieces in there. But at the end of the day, you are again, just buying a square box. Of course, the joy is actually putting the combination lock together and playing around with the mechanism, but that's really all there is to it. Once you actually get to play it around a few times, that's really all you can do. And of course, once you've just locked and unlocked it, it just feels like opening another lock, so it isn't really too, too special. The real joy for this model comes in the building process, which I will absolutely say was very cool, really interesting to see how the lock came together, and very, very satisfying to actually put in the code, so we've got the 42, put in the four, and then put in the two, and then watch it be able to be opened. So I think I actually messed that one up. Let's do that again slowly one last time. We've got the four, and then we've got the two, and you maybe have to shake it around a little bit, and there you go, it is fully open. So very interesting to see the build being used here, but again, not necessarily worth 50 US dollars. And another final thing I do want to state about this model, as well as all the other models, which I have talked about in some of the other reviews, it is very, very annoying that LEGO did not include physical instructions for these models. Instead, you are forced to use the LEGO Instructions Maker app, 
Specifically, the app is set up such that you have to build it via a 3D model kind of rendering animated service, which is the same way that they do the LEGO Super Mario instructions, which means that for every step, you either have to wait for the render to load, and for certain steps, like let's say I finished building the bottle and placed it down, then I have to wait for a little animation to play of sparkles before I can move on to the next step. It's very annoying how you cannot skip these, and I honestly feel like forcing people to use the app was a big con to this model in particular. I would have been very happy if they literally just used PDF instructions. Maybe if they didn't want to print instructions, I understand it's a limited product, but at least give us these standard booklet style instructions and not make us have to sit through the pretty much awful experience for the LEGO instructions app just simply not being up to par much like many of LEGO's other app technologies. Otherwise though, beyond that minor frustration, this was a very fun set to build and I would love to hear from the comments down below, what do you think of this model and have you built it yourselves? All right, and with that, we have summed up our review of the working Sheriff Safe. This is a really interesting concept for a Lego set. It certainly was a very interesting building process, and I certainly would recommend it to anyone looking to build it themselves. Now, I do really hope that this program does continue. I think it's really great that Lego is giving these rejected ideas concepts a second chance at life, even if it's through a very limited crowdfunding platform. Let me know down in the comments below though, what do you think of this program, what do you think of the set, and if you own it, what has been your experience with it, and have you actually had to fiddle around with that extra set of instructions that they put out because of the error? Now, I hope you enjoyed this video, subscribe to Duck Breaks for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses coming your way very soon. Thanks so much, and bye bye for now.